Hello, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4, probably. Feels like Day 37. <laughs> these are these daily videos are really difficult. We have been busy. We've been very busy. I think I edited for like six hours this morning. I just showered. <laughs> we have to film now. We're going to edit again. It's a lot. Today's video is going to be a fun one. Hannah and I put together a list of the do's and don'ts in our relationship. Yeah. So these are both the keys to our hearts and the films that you can do to make us hate you forever. So if you're interested in dating either one of us, memorize these because mm -hmm. they will be very important. And this is just as much for each other as a little reminder as it is for you to enjoy, right? <laughs> All right, let's jump in. Hello, and welcome to our December HelloFresh video. Today, we are making sun-dried tomato spaghetti with fresh herbs, almonds, and parmesan. Oh, this looks so good. Shane is behind the camera today. Gabby will be assisting us with this video. Thank you, Gabby. For anyone that doesn't know, Gabby is my robot arm. It's not a person. That did sound like someone was here, yeah. Gabby, Gabby Grabbers, the Shane's Jaco arm. We've got fresh tomatoes, sun dried tomatoes, green herb blend with a couple of different herbs in there. We've got our veggie stock, this is like our all time favorite thing. Cream cheese, garlic, parmesan, almonds, and spaghetti. You ready? Yum. HelloFresh has something for everyone, including low calorie, vegetarian, and kid friendly recipes every week. You can save up to 28% by using HelloFresh versus grocery store shopping. And HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients mean that there's less prep for you and less wasted food. Shane, I'm not sure that you're doing your job correctly. Shane? You can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. HelloFresh has donated over two and a half million meals to charity in 2019. And this year is stepping up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis. How is it? <laughs> oh my god. It's so good. It's so, so good. I should probably get a bowl. No, I just eat it right off the stove. And let's pause it right there. Go to HelloFresh.com and use our code SQUIRMYANDGRUBS90 to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use our code SQUIRMYANDGRUBS90 to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. Mm. All right, dinner time. All right, the first do. Do give Shane extra hard, extra long fingernail scratches when you're washing his hair. There is nothing I enjoy more. Can you demonstrate? Mostly just I want to feel it right now. Then, it, oh, see, my God. Dear Lord, oh my God. When <laughs> Hannah is helping me shower, and you can keep going. Nope. And she's doing my hair. If you were in our house, like listening, you would think that we were like being very inappropriate together. But really, it's just Hannah going to town on my head mm -hmm. and me moaning. <laughs> it's terrible. All right, the next one. If you are at a grocery store with Hannah and she says to you, "Should I get this flavor ice cream or this flavor ice cream?" Do say both of them. Otherwise, you will have a problem on your hands. <laughs> that is always code for give me permission to buy these both. The next one is if you are driving a long distance with Anna and she says, I kind of need to use the bathroom. Should we stop at this rest stop that's coming up or the next one that's in 40 miles? Do not ever <laughs> say the next one in 40 miles. Okay, that's fair. On more than one occasion, we might have had a little emergency on our hands. She may have peed in a few cups. A couple pee jars. No big deal. <laughs> All right, the next one's a don't. Under any circumstance, do not critique Shane's Jayco robotic arm maneuverings. Even if you know he's about to spill all over the floor. Last night, I dropped an entire beer, on, an open beer on the floor of our kitchen, 
That's not the second beer I've spilled. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Hannah. But still, but if don't I say, tell me how to do I it. think if you just tilt the other way, no, no, no. That is a road to nowhere. <laughs> I get very defensive. Don't do it. All right, the next one. If you're ordering takeout with Hannah, do not order without making sure she's seen the dessert menu. I don't even know why this is on the list. It's just obvious. If you order and then she finds out that there were dessert options and you did not consult her, you're in trouble. And I always find out. <laughs> that, that was so terrifying. And I always find out. Just saying, I'm gonna check. All right, another don't. Do not ever touch Shane's feet. I have sensitive feet. Yeah, I mean, even if you think it's not, you know, there's no way this could hurt, you know, it's not ticklish, just don't touch them. Just don't do it. I was told by a doctor that my feet are hypersensitive. Basically, I got injured a few times in physical therapy very early on in life, and ever since then, I've been a giant protective baby over my little toesies. Don't go near them. I'll let Chloe let them, but other than that, stay away. Yeah, Chloe uses like her upper lip to peel back one toe, slips her tongue in. <laughs> no problem. But I try to put a sock on and you're screaming. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. I like how a physical therapist also broke your arm and you have no problem with your arms. My arms are fine. Just stay away from my toes. I'm talking to all of you. Stay away from my toes. All right, the next one. Do you remember to give each other daily affection and make time for just us. Mm-hmm. This is important. We uh, run a business together and so it's important to remember that we're also in a relationship and we can't spend all of our time editing daily videos. True. <laughs> Alright, another do not. I feel like all of yours are don'ts. I know. You have a lot of rules. It should all be phrased as do's. Well, don't forget to water down <laughs> Shane's mouthwash. I guess do water down Shane's mouthwash. He's a huge, huge baby about mouthwash. Cannot handle it. He he starts to gag, like actively throws up if you give him mouthwash that is not watered down like you would for a baby. Mint and me do not mix well. He says it goes up his nose. I, I don't know what he's it doing. It does. Something about mouthwash rockets up my nose every time I use it. And it burns. Mm-hmm. And then I gag. And then more goes up my nose. It's a whole cycle. Next one. Don't forget to blow on my food to cool it before inserting it into my mouth. I, All I, of these make me out to be like a baby. A huge baby. But also, I think my next one that I'm going to add in is don't forget that Shane always will tell you that the food is not too hot for him. I'll just be like, it's fine. Come I'll on. be like, want me to blow? He'll be like, no. So don't forget to discard that and blow anyway. Do you remember when you scalded my tongue yeah. in New York City? There was French onion soup that he had in New York City. I take like the cheese back. It's like steaming up into the air and I'm like, this is too hot it's for like you. It's still boiling. He's like, no, it's not. And we had just started dating, so I couldn't be like, shut up. You know, so I was like, okay. So I gave him a mouthful of the soup. <laughs> I he spit it out. all over himself. It was a big mouthful. <laughs> he had a burnt tongue for like a week. Oh yeah, like a third degree burn. It wasn't like, oh my tongue hurts. It was like, it's really bad. Was it my boils? Yeah. yeah. So now I blow no matter what he says. Next one. Do not give suggestions to Hannah about the way she cuts vegetables. Everything she does is perfect, especially. The way she cuts onions. Thank you. Even when it's not. Oh, what? It's perfect. Thank you. All the time. Mm-hmm. Do not ever say calm down when someone is upset, meaning me. <laughs> and it doesn't like to be told to relax. I feel like that is fairly <laughs> universal. When someone's upset, the last thing you want to hear is, oh my god, relax. I don't say it like that. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I say, hey, maybe we don't need to be as upset about either, this. That is calm still down. making my blood calm. boil, but either way. You'd think you're saying it like that, but you're really not, so just I'm don't probably say not. it. That's one is for me, do tuck in as closely as possible as I'm falling asleep each night. Mm-hmm. There is nothing I enjoy more than Hannah, like, enveloping me yeah. as we fall asleep. Spooning is like a more societally appropriate word for that. But... Enveloping. <laughs> but do not forget to quickly move away because Shane will become a human sweat sprinkler during the night. Uh, literally every night we cuddle up for like 15 minutes and then we're like all right we're hot you're like get off pull the blanket down (laughs) next one don't ever try to spook hannah she doesn't find it funny she doesn't like to be like don't pop out 
from behind a wall and say boo. Even if you think it would be cute, nope. it won't be cute. It's she, never cute. She'll hit you. It will not be fun. She'll be angry. I can't deal with it. It's not fun. Don't do it. Nope. I think you tried that like maybe once and my reaction was so violent <laughs> and angry that you never tried it again. I was like, it was a joke <laughs> that I will never make again. And that's one is more of a health concern. Uh, when you're at a restaurant with Hannah, when the waiter brings you your bread for the table, move it, do move it as far away from Hannah as possible because she is a bread fiend. She will eat all of it before her meal is served and then won't be hungry for her meal. Mm, how about don't tell me that I won't be hungry for my meal because I don't care. You know what you can take home easily? The thing you ordered. The bread doesn't stay. It doesn't last. If you take it home, it's going to be stale by morning. Sometimes I have to call restaurants ahead and say, <laughs> did you get a recent bread delivery? Because Hannah will be eating there tonight and uh, we're going to need a lot of it. In, in all honesty, though, Shane will often ask for a second bread basket just because he knows I love the bread so much. Yeah, I hope you're realizing that all of these are kind of tongue in cheek. Yeah, I mean. We support and like. We do the opposite of basically all of these. Not a scaring one. Not a lot. I mean, I do blow on your food. Don't scare me. Some of these are real. All right, the next one. When you are tickling someone with your thumb, you know, tracing something on their arm, tickling a foot, massaging a foot, whatever, don't stop. Hannah will ask me to, like, tickle her back in bed or tickle her arm or mm -hmm. her foot, whatever. Yeah, watching TV, I'll give you my foot. So I'll do it for 10 minutes. My atrophied thumb will begin to get tired, so I'll stop, and then the foot will wiggle <laughs> or press further in as a reminder that I am not done. Ten more minutes, nope, not enough. But once you start, you can't stop, mm -hmm. so maybe you just don't start. Mm, that's not the solution. And the final one, do expect a lengthy snuggle in the car after every long drive. This is something that I find so cute about Hannah, but whenever we're on a long car ride and we get to our destination, she turns to me and just goes, <laughs> and then lays over onto my lap. It's, it's like if we're on like a, you know, eight, ten hour drive for the day, I'm so overwhelmed and tired. I just need a little snuggle. Yeah. We should go into our hotel and, I can't know, wait that long. Lay down. Instead, she just curls up on my lap and we have a moment in the car. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, everyone. Those are the do's and don'ts of our relationship. Now you know how to make us love you or yeah. make us hate you. So use it wisely. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Bye.